All right, so in this series of tutorials, we're going to build probably the most common interaction, a tabs interaction. So let's take a look at what our final interaction will look like. So first you'll see that we have a vertical tabs menu on the side, and it includes five buttons. Each of the buttons has a hover effect, which visually tells learners that the object is an interactive element and that it can be clicked. And when I click each button, you'll notice a few things happening. First, the button visually changes, right? That's why we indicate that it's been clicked. The button background changes color, so it's a darker gray. And there's a small blue indicator graphic also that's used to indicate the button's been visited. The second thing I see is that my content area over here in the main part of the slide updates for each of the button. So for this example, we're showing a new slide layer each time a button is clicked. Finally, take a look down here at our player's navigation buttons. So you see that both the previous and next buttons are visible but only one button, the, the previous button, is active. The next button has been disabled by default. The next button will remain disabled until we finish clicking all five buttons on the slide. Now, Storyline makes these kind of conditional buttons really easy, and you'll also learn how to set that up. So let's just go ahead and get started building this tabs interaction from scratch.